What it do, what it do. It's your boy, Unk No Punk. Unk No Punk, another short one just for you. This one's going to be about how the conscious community are now, how you saying, they scatter like little little roaches and turn the light on, you know. They backstabbers, they traitors. They're not no friends, right? <laughs> they damn sure not. They are fucking fake, the conscious community. I don't give a goddamn nobody say these dudes are number frauds. I say this because, man, if I say conscious community are frauds, 98% of them are frauds, okay? There's 2% of them that really got it, right? But anyway, you know, these dudes here, they now coming on with these extra videos coming from you know, the conscious community boys. You know, everyone got a little video on about this deal. They knew this. They knew they did. They, these motherfuckers knew every goddamn thing. You know, like the fucking FBI know shit. These dudes knew everything, right? But now they want to come out with videos, you no know, three-hour videos, five-hour lives and some shit like that, just talking about the, um, most of the polite situation with Sonetta, right? But, like, these dudes are in the same boat, too. That's why I said they all goddamn fake, right? Because um, the female fine sister, Tasha K, you know, she exposed this, this dude, you no know, polite, right? Things she said. But I also, like I said, I made a video about a couple, about a couple months ago when, when dude said about his daughter, his daughter, um, his wife from cousin, and shit like that, right? But now all these dudes want to make videos, they make videos like, you know, exposing more shit. Talking about how he groomed, how he was grooming the, the, um, his girls and all the stuff there, you know. Telling my kids walk around with panties in the house or other men is in the house and shit like that. I heard a little bit right there. And I'm like, hmm. Now... All of a sudden, people, they get fucking, their memory come back, you know what I'm saying? Or they can think of shit to fucking expose, you know what I'm saying? But as long as there was a good hand with this dude here, making a little cheddar with him, you know, or asking him for some help, they kept their goddamn mouth shut, you know what I'm saying? So now don't try to come on YouTube with your goddamn exposing shit, talking about, I knew him for this and this amount of years, he been doing this and that, yada, yada, when you never said a goddamn thing about it. Now that I think about it, I just saw a little video of this about, um, I didn't watch but I saw the title, but I didn't look at it. It was, um, Sinetta is, say he's finished with him. With, he's done with Polite. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, check this shit out. Why is he all of a sudden done with Polite? Huh? We knew about this shit for fucking couple of years now. Why all of a sudden is he's done with him? Why? Because everyone started putting videos out about him knowing this shit here, and he feeling the pressure. No, he trying to like he don't feel the pressure. Any man gonna feel the pressure if your nigga keeps popping up. You no, know, he supposed to be some goddamn a good citizen in the, the conscious community. And your name pops up always every goddamn fucking but every couple minutes a new video popping up about molestation. Your name pops in there. You know what I'm saying, I mean, come on. Of course that shit's affect his ass. So now he comes on. I'm done with him. I'm done with him. You wasn't done with Matthew fucking messing your goddamn little cousin and you brought him back in there to goddamn um, make some money to base on his other goddamn shit. You said it. But this other dude making videos now, um, what's his dude's name? Ah, uh, fuck, for Inky, Inky, Dr. Inky. He's the one making these things about these polite grooming the girls, kids walking around with panties and all this shit, yada, yada, yada. I think he must have lived with him or stayed with him, whatever it is. He's asking for help. You know what I'm saying? But he knew all this a long time ago, he said. But why? He never said nothing about it. But now you want to come over here for two, three hours and talk about the man? Nah, y'all niggas, y'all bullshit. Y'all damn sure bullshit. And like I said, the, the Senator dude, you know what I'm saying? Ah, the shit he did was just like, was disappointing. That's why I keep talking about it. Because I look a little more up up to him I, like, as the OG of this shit here. But no, he fell from grace. You know what I'm saying? So I never fell from goddamn grace with this bullshit here. You know what I'm saying? Knowing things and not saying a goddamn thing about it. Like the inky dude too. He needed help from polite. Everything's cool and fine and dandy. You know what I'm saying? But now, this dude separates from him. He polite's not worrying about dudes. He's not worrying about them. There was always on polite dick. That's the goddamn problem right here. Polite was always the one talking. You know, everyone see we got he, we talking about. You know, had the wives with him. Had had a little something for you to see. You know, a little a little entertainment. The rest of the guys don't got shit. You know what I'm saying? He, he can't dress for shit. I supposed to do some more rich and all that. What where the fuck is he from? Huh? Is he American? He look like some goddamn I don't know some goddamn I don't know the fuck from goddamn Togo been in some shit where he be dressing shit. Even polite dress fucked up too. But anyway, I'm saying these dudes now they try to make videos about him. 
coming at them two, three, four hours and shit, talking about them. If y'all knew all this shit, why y'all ain't say nothing? Get the fuck out of here. You know, the sister Patasha came, you know, she put it out there. Now everyone will hop on a bandwagon with three, four hours of goddamn videos talking about this shit. I'm done with him. Get the fuck out. He's done with y'all motherfuckers. And like I said before, you know, even if you was down with him, you was cool with him. If he catch a case, some kind of rape case or shit like this, what the fuck is you doing calling him on live and asking? And you want to answer questions or you want to do an interview? These fuckers, they say, these niggas are stupid. Is that it? But these niggas are fucking stupid. Do you see white people doing some shit like that? Do you see have, um, like, like, what's it, Weinstein or Epstein? Somebody call up there, one of their friends, and hey, I'm on live, Facebook Live. Do you want to talk about your situation, about your rape case? Only niggas do stupid shit like that. These is dumbass fucking hope tip. What the fuck you want to call these goddamn dudes? Well, they're scamming the people. That's all they do. It's all about money. They're not giving no knowledge for free. They're saying, here, take this knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Don't give me no donations. I'm not selling you nothing. It's all about the money game. These fake ass motherfuckers. And you see they're doing to polite now. I'm not trying to damn you. I'm not back polite. We're saying... Y'all was home with this goddamn dude for years and years and years since then. Now y'all know every goddamn thing. Oh, yeah, he was doing this. Yeah, he was doing that. Backstabbing, backstabbing, backstabbing. Where you need him is on his dick. You know, this all on goddamn brother polite dick. And that's facts, fam, and I'm out peace.